Good luck out of there. I see something I want. Greetings, what? You there! The arena needs another competitor to round out the next match. The tournament can't go on until we have a leader for the Crows. If you trust in your fighting skills, there are vast riches to be won here at Valor Arena. I manage the fighters here at Valor Arena, and for the most part, I make the matches. Best job in the world, far as I'm concerned. All the fans of the arena would kill for a chance to put their dream matches together. I do it every day. The Crows are always a massive allure for business. The champion doesn't want the tournament to go on until we find a leader for them. It's a testament. A testament to mortal fortitude and ambition. It was originally Fey, but it passed to us through their own silly rights when Throth Magnus defeated their champion. It pulls in a lot of revenue for the arena, and doubles as a tavern. Well, as I said, the arena needs another fighter to start the next match. What do you say? You look like you could hold your own in a fight. That's the spirit. I hereby induct you into Valor Arena as the leader of the Crows. Your first opponents will be Remus Bloodhawk and his Marauders. Your team's already waiting for you in the Gladiator Pit. Head down the walkway when you're ready. There has always been a team of crows at Valor Arena. It was a tradition begun by Hroth Magnus, the first champion. A gladiator becomes a crow if she ever finds herself the sole survivor on her team. Hroth took this to mean that the fighter could have done more to help his companions. To him, these fighters were disgraced, and if they wanted to continue fighting, they did so as crows. Today we use the crows to draw a crowd, but the handicap remains. The Crows are only allowed two gladiators in the arena at a time, and as team leader you have to fight every match. Hello, newcomer. I'm the leader of the Varani Marauders. I suppose we'll be doing battle soon. Do you have any next of kin? I was thinking I would let them know if anything were to happen to you out there. Only one team is coming back and it's going to be us. It's been years now since I first climbed those arena stairs. I look forward to doing battle with your team. Vigor's been doing this almost as long as I have. He'll do your team no wrong. He and I are among the few who've been here since the first Magnus' time. There's a lot you could learn from him, but I'm getting ahead of myself. You'll have to defeat us first. This place is a warrior's institution. Even a Warsworn would hesitate to fight to the death just for the sake of it. We do it gladly and with passion. I wish you good luck, but I don't expect you'll be back. Greetings! I guess you're the latest addition to the team. They made me fight a ball last time. It was downright embarrassing. I hope today's gonna be more interesting. I haven't been here long myself. I've always wanted to rough it as a war sworn. Joined up here to develop a bit of a spine. She's a terrifying woman, but a good ally to have on your side. Valor Arena? It's a place dreams are made of. If you dream of people getting stabbed or beheaded, or burned, very badly burned. The greatest gladiator this place has ever seen. 
Everyone here hopes for a career like his. Even the current champion pales in comparison. No one's even come close to lasting as long, not to mention performing as well. A gladiator becomes a crow when he finds himself the last surviving member on his team. It's a way to keep the tournament moving as teams start losing members. The rule has its roots in a tradition started by the current champion's father. But today it's basically an attempt to draw interest from the fans. Of course, it's not good news for us. The two-man rule means we're at a significant handicap. He's ancient. I'm surprised he can walk around in that armor, let alone fight in it. But he's reliable. Think quick out there, and keep moving! Well met. Pleasure to meet you. Name's Helga Swanwhite. I'm your girl if you want sorcery in the next match. Just let me finish this drink and I'll be right behind you. The arena's through that gate to the east. I'd, uh, share some of this, but I've only got the one drink. Oh, sorry. Before I got my start here, I'd been studying at the Scolia Arcana. I was quite good at affecting arcane explosions, but I found myself uniquely blocked. I realized I had to be less than sober to effectively cast spells, so I drank. They kicked me out for excessive abuse of drink, called me dangerous and a degenerate. I couldn't help it if alcohol gave me a certain clarity. No one in the arena gives me guff about it, and if they do, they stop as soon as I set them on fire. He's your typical beginner, as far as I can tell. Good with the dagger and not much else. I watched his last match the day I joined the arena. He was one of the most impressive brute force fighters I have ever seen. Until his son managed to land the killing stroke, his father tossed him about the place like a rag doll. It was odd. Sure, he was old, but in his final moments, I thought he looked ill. It's like a second home. Oh, I don't bet. But it's the only place on the grounds one can find a proper drink. Adrian gives me a free drink for every ten that I buy. I think he likes me. This is the House of Valor. You won't find another place in Amalur quite like this. Nothing is sacred here. Your competition is out to maul you, and the management likes it that way. Especially the champion, nasty man. If Valor weren't the only arena on the continent, I'd have taken off a long time ago. He's brutal in a fight, and quicker than you'd think. Every gladiator who's challenged him is dead. A fighter is forced to join the Crows if they are the last surviving member of their team after a match. It's a long-standing tradition that keeps the tournament going as gladiators inevitably fall. Why would we keep fighting them? Well... We have our pride, and I wouldn't have signed up for this if I didn't think I could win it in the end. All I know is that the Fey built this place centuries ago, and Hroth Magnus took it from them. Amalur's better for it, as far as I'm concerned. He's the team veteran, been around longer than both Acer and me. We don't see eye to eye on everything, but he's a reliable choice in the arena. Don't take time to think out there, just fight! So you're the new leader. You should brace yourself if you haven't already. Fights in Valor Arena are to the death. I look forward to seeing what you can do. Let us know when you're ready. You'll have to decide which of the three of us will fight with you before a match. He's green as the grass in Dalintarth. But a good lad. I don't know if he's foolhardy or brave to think he'll make it far in this tournament. She's an alcoholic and a fiend, but she'll match any fighter. And few mages keep as cool a head as she does in a fight. Few mages stay as drunk as she does during a fight, too. She says 
She requires alcohol to use her abilities. But I've never met a mage like that. I'd tell her she's a liar to her face, but I don't relish the idea of getting set on fire. The Fey held rites here, I think. I know they came in flocks to watch and participate like we do. Legend has it that every tournament they held ended in the same way, with the same champion defeating everyone. Nice of you to ask. The younger fighters don't care about us weathered guys. I'd been participating in arena matches for years. Got my start when Magnus put out a call for fresh gladiators, and the old man trained me himself. He'd have hated to see this. The spectacle of it all, I mean. In his day, the only thing that mattered was the fight. The rush of delivering the death blow. He was a gruff man. Powerful. And an absolute beast in the arena. I've seen him pander Lian Shi into pulp with his bare hands. Outside of battle, however, he fancied himself a man of principle. Charged spectators just enough to keep this place running. It was the fight he wanted, not coin. The matches you'll fight here are to the death, with no quarter, no mercy. It's been this way since the first Magnus won the arena from the Fey. Even with his son turning this battleground into a ridiculous display, with the banners, the announcer... The bouts, at least, remain the same. He's a fierce fighter, but he sees himself as a moneymaker first, and a competitor second. He's turned the arena into a spectacle. Let one of us know when you're ready. You will have to decide which of the three of us will fight with you before a match. I'll be here if you need me. I'll leave it to you then. I guess you're the latest addition to the team. Then if I die out there, you can have my things. Since you've taken up the mantle of our team leader, you're in charge of picking the team member who goes into battle. As leader, you're also expected to participate in each match. I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure I could handle that kind of responsibility. Let's take the fight to them, Gladiator! Welcome one, welcome all to Valor Arena. Today we have the Crows testing their worth against Remus Bloodhawk and his Marauders. Victory here means the entire team moves up in the championship. They'll be on a path to face the Lords of Valor. Have at it, warriors. made it out alive against superior numbers. With crows like these, there's no doubt it's going to be an interesting tournament. I didn't think I'd make it. 